In this video, we're going to discuss the solution to question 14 from the practice midterm exam for Calculus 2, Math 1220. And we have here a base of a solid. Um, it's going to be a disk in the xy plane with boundary curve x squared plus y squared equals 1. So we just stop there for a moment. We have a circle as our base. And then cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are going to be squares. So we're going to be stacking, you know, if we look at these different cross sections, we're going to be stacking squares on top of these things. Like so. And so we're going to build a solid uh, based upon these things. And we want to set up the integral to find the volume of this thing. Do not evaluate. This is just a setup type question. Do not evaluate it. Um, I want to look at this from different perspectives. If I look on the circle from the top, right, we have the x-axis and the y-axis. And a typical cross-section is going to look like this piece right here. All right? And some important things to notice about this thing is that this cross-section can have a thickness of x. And so we're ultimately going to integrate this thing with respect to x. Now, if we look at our square from a different, from a different perspective, we're going to get the following. That kind of looks like a square, right? Um, in which case, some things to note here is that if the length of the square is s, s and s, the area of the squares can be s squared. The reason this is significant is in order to find the volume using cross-sectional slicing, we're going to integrate from a to b the area function with respect to x. Don't forget the dx here, because that's the thickness of our slice uh, times the cross-sectional area there. So we see here that we're going to integrate, we're going to be integrating s squared dx. Now, as we're integrating with respect to x, we one could sort of determine what are the bounds of x. Um, the cross-sections can go anywhere from this side of the circle to this side of the circle. Our looking from on top, we go all the way over here to here, which the one on the left is a negative one, the one on the right is a positive one. So we're going to integrate from negative 1 to 1, s squared dx. I should also mention that we can use symmetry here, that the volume of the right side is just going to be half of the total volume. So we actually could write this as 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of s squared dx. And honestly, if you had stopped here, you'd get some par good partial credit on this problem because this is a good analysis so far. But how can we improve upon it? We have to integrate with respect to x. How do we write s in terms of s? x here. Um, so some things to note here that while this side right here is s, that's also this side right here. And so if we take a point right here whose coordinates are x comma y, this distance s, which is the whole thing, this is um, the half of s is going to be y. And so we see that s is equal to 2y, which tells us the area will equal 4y squared. That's a great next step. So notice what we now have is that our integral can be written as we're going to get 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of 4 times y squared dx. Or in other words, we get 8 times the integral from 0 to 1 of y squared dx. That's a step in the right direction, but we still have to represent y in terms of x. But that's where the original equation comes into play here. We haven't really used it yet at this moment. x squared plus y squared equals 1. If you solve for y, you're going to see that y equals the square root of 1 minus x squared. Well, technically, there's a plus or minus, but even technically, we don't actually need y. We need y squared, which is going to equal 1 minus x squared. So making that substitution here, we then get 8 times the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x squared dx. And so this right here then gives us the integral that we're looking for. Uh, this integral would then give us the area, uh, the, the volume of this curve. And so this is this is one interpretation. If you didn't use symmetry, of course, um, it instead would look like 4 times the integral from negative 1 to 1. You still get 1 minus x squared dx. That part didn't change. So one of those would be the integrals we're looking for here. Again, you're just supposed to set it up. You don't have to compute it. And so one could then stop at this moment. 